We will create a container database with two pluggable databases in Oracle 12C. I have logged in as Oracle user on this server. I have already installed Grid Infrastructure and Oracle RDBMS software. By looking at Eratap file, we can see that ASM instance already exists on this server. I have not yet created any databases on this server. As we can see here, ASM instance is already running, and notice that it is owned by Grid user. Now I will start Database Configuration Assistant DBCA. I will select Create Database option. I will select Advanced Mode option. I will select Custom Database option. I will specify Database Name and Oracle SID as CDB1. Here, we have an option to create this database as container. We have an option to create this database as empty container. With this option, it will not create any pluggable databases. I will select an option to create a container database with two pluggable databases with PDB as prefix. We will review all options before proceeding to next step. Continue with default option to configure Enterprise Manager Database Express. I will use a simple password for sys and system and DBCA will show a warning for this. I will select the listener which was created by grid infrastructure. I will choose to store database files on ASM data disk group. Notice that we will use Oracle managed files option. I will choose to store fast recovery files on ASM FRA disk group. Specify 10 GB size for fast recovery area. I will also enable redo log archiving. We will review all options before proceeding to next step. Notice that we will not be able to change any database components. I will not configure database vault and label security for this database. I will proceed with typical settings for memory, but I will enable automatic memory management. We will review all other options before going to the next step. We will choose to generate database creation scripts. DBCA will perform prerequisite checks and will display create database summary page. Notice that all database components will be configured and enabled by default for this container database. DBCA has generated the database creation scripts. DBCA will now create the database. On this screen, DBCA is listing information about database creation locks, database server parameter file, and enterprise manager express URL. We can go to the password management screen and review all database users. By default, only 
Sys and system users are unlocked. We have completed creating our container database. We can look at error tap file and review the entry for CDB1. As we can see here, CDB1 instance is running and owned by Oracle user. I will set up Oracle environment variables using error env script. I will check the listener status and notice the listener version, start date and registered database service names. It also has two service names for pluggable databases. I will connect to the database instance using SQL Plus. I will query the dollar instance view to check instance name, instance version and instance status. Now I will query the dollar database view. There are some new columns added to this view. CDB column is telling us that this is a container database. Now I will query CDB PDBS view. We can see here we have three pluggable databases. PDB seed, PDB1 and PDB2.